and it gives you a frequency 110.3 now what you want to do with that frequency is you want to go into your radio stack or which on the lyric is just down here you want to go where it says navigation one right you want to change that to the frequency that you saw there the assigned one and uh, if i remember correctly that's 111.3 uh, you want to press this button here to swap it to make it the active and just for you know safety precaution you can do that to uh, the navigation two as well 111.3 you want to swap them around to make that the active now now the only way for this to work is um your navigational switch here has to be set to navigation it cannot be set to gps it won't work when it's set to gps because gps is a whole different other thing it won't read up the frequencies that you put into the radio it will only um it will only you know take you places related on a flight plan that you've put into your gps which is this and um so far we haven't you know we haven't dealt with that in any way so you want to make sure that's switched on to navigation and then from there let's see how far off we are from the high level. So now if we go back to the map, you'll see that we've done the two. Okay, maybe her second left turn was a bit more than 90 degrees, but no worries, that's not a problem at all. So now we are basically parallel with the runway. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fly on, fly on the same heading, just up until we're just about three, two miles, nautical miles um, further than the, uh, than the tip of the glide slope. And then from there, we're going to do another 90 degree turn to the left. At that point, when we do make that um, third uh, 90 degree left turn, we're going to prepare for the landing. We're going to bring down our flaps. We're going to slow down to 180 knots, so which that should be about one notch of flaps. Um, and then we're gonna, you know, we're gonna set up our our approach, our approach, um, our approach systems in the aircraft, such that when it does intercept the localizer, the aircraft will turn, align itself with the runway and it will get itself on the glide slope when it does begin to make the fourth turn which is the final turn onto the runway what you want to do is set your full flaps um, landing gear out and um, you want to slow to the approach speed which as i mentioned before on this aircraft should be about 140 knots okay so we're just about where we need to be um, to make our third left turn as you can see here this is the runway that we're trying to land at I've given it a bit more than just three nautical miles just to be on the safe side. So we're gonna go ahead and aircraft. We're gonna descend, make um, gonna make one notch of flaps, which on this aircraft is eight degrees. So the aircraft can slow to 180 knots as I've said on the autopilot. We're gonna make the left turn. Should be about there, 30 degrees. Okay. Now what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to switch on this button here that says approach. Now, if you have set everything up correctly, what you should see is a little triangle here pointing out to the left. What this is is an indicator of um, the glide slope of the runway that we've um, tuned into the navigation system. So basically, um, the triangle has to be in the center to show that you are, you know, directly on the... Uh, on the glide slope but um, it being above what that means is that we are underneath the glide slope which shouldn't be a problem I think um, being um, below the glide slope is much better than being above the glide slope because you know it's much more difficult to get an aircraft to um, safely descend um, fast um, and maintaining you know the, the landing speeds and etc but now that we're below the glide slope Okay, so we're in the aircraft now and uh, we've got everything lined up for the uh, landing. Um, as you can see from the GPS here, the runway is there and um, we're still, you know, we're still underneath the glide slope. But um, as we approach the runway, the glide slope will slowly come down to the center. Um, our speed is at 180. And we should just keep the heading.
just do a pre um, a pre landing checklist just make sure everything is alright make sure that your approach hold switch is on make sure that you've tuned um, in the frequencies for the runway correctly and you know just do a quick check your speed your flaps everything okay so there we go we have intercepted the localizer so now as you can see the plane will you know turn and you know align itself with the runway um, a personal practice that I like to do um, is that I like to uh, I like to only uh, deploy the landing gear in full flaps just when the aircraft um, hits the glide slope or centers with the glide slope I find that easier to um, you know it's more procedural as you know that's when the plane is actually starting to descend toward the runway so at the moment we haven't hit the glide slope yet but you will notice that the heading indicator has gone off heading hold because the autopilot knows that um, we haven't hit the glide slope yet then when you do finally hit the glide slope you will note that the uh, altimeter hold switch has gone off because now we're now descending on the glide slope and um, yeah I've lowered my full flaps now and my landing gear and from this point onward basically the plane will just um, it will basically land itself it will descend onto the glide slope uh, until you know it reaches the runway um, I've just uh, decreased my speed to approach speed which we had set to 140 though um, in this instance you will see in a second I do um, increase it to 150 just to be on the safe side I, I, um, I didn't want to uh, I wanted to uh, defeat any chances of uh, a stall happening and yeah As you can see, the plane is still lining out for the runway. And there we go. Basically, from this point on, it's just uh, sit back and, you know, let the plane do its thing. Though, in um, in real life, what our professional pilots do is um, the, the plane will be set up in um, a similar procedure to what we've done here. So the plane will, um, you know, intercept the localizer. It will align itself with the runway and get itself on the glide slope though what professional pilots do um, you know just last minute about two miles or so away from the runway or a mile away um, the pilot will get his uh, co-pilot to um, you know disengage all the autopilot and you know automated system systems and um, what he, the pilot will actually do is he'll steer the plane down onto the runway manually and um, yeah, I think that's you know that's that, that that's um, a more professional way of doing it because you know you know they are in control. You have control of the aircraft. Just in case something does go wrong, you you you, you can always respond to it you know um, appropriately. And um, you'll find that um, I'm not sure if that if that happens in real life, but in this game, um, what the um, Autoland actually does is it doesn't. Um, it doesn't flare the aircraft all the time what it will do is it's most of the times actually it will actually kind of slam the aircraft into the runway which is yeah I mean it's it's, it's an all right ish landing but you know it's still it still is kind of bumpy I've seen it with the bigger aircraft it really does kind of slam the aircraft into the ground so um, yeah personally I would do the um, you know the manual um, the manual setup with the with the uh, you know handling the aircraft manually but um with me right now i do not have a joystick or any kind of flight controls i'm using my keyboard so just for the sake of this demonstration i will let the auto land um you know um uh, put the aircraft onto the ground and yeah you'll see for yourself it won't necessarily be you know the the best um touchdown or the smoothest touchdown but i mean it's it is pretty decent for you know something that's computerized It's definitely not our shadow. Um, so there, I'll turn off the speed um, hold. I think auto, auto uh, air traffic control has got um, something made a mistake there. So what I do is I turn off the speed hold because what I want to do is I want to just before touchdown I want to you know pull our N one down to zero and uh, you know engage the reverse thrusters. So I just turn off the speed hold just for for safety precaution and as soon as we touch down I turn off all the autopilot um, autopilot um, an automated system including the autoland system and then from there onwards I engage the reverse thrusters manually 
and the uh, spoilers manually and you know just bring the plane to you know to to save speed manually so um yeah guys that's basically how um, you land um, an aircraft in flight simulator x with the auto land it's just as simple as that and uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching please uh, leave comments below